A federally recognized Hawaiian government or governing entity will not be allowed to seek any legal redress against the state of Hawaii. Land claims? I'm going to say probably forget them. The Native Hawaiian government will have the power to negotiate with the United States and state a settlement in perpetuity is the goal. For our historian, this looks like history foreclosed. History almost like an autopsy. Um, unlike the Tongan case, 2010, where they did constitutional reform, Hawaiians will not pursue constitutional reform led by experts in Tongan constitutionalism, history, language, or culture. Those elected to the Nayapuni will receive a crash course on how to write a constitution over 10 days, led by the legal experts I have been talking about. None of whom read or speak Hawaiian. Unlike our Maori cousins, we will not pursue claims against, in their case, the Crown, the United States, by impalmingly experts in treaties and constitutions, history, law, or Moina, tradition, the Hawaiian way of doing things. One way to reframe our thinking is in terms of our historical trajectory. Are we Pacific or are we American? Should we be thinking in comparative legal system frames? Comparative legal system frames. If you, if you need to look at how that works in other places, look at common constitutionalism reform, look at the papers written on that, the studies, look at the Treaty of Waitangi and the tribunal. It's not perfect. Hawaiian use, or only US and only through the DOI, which is the option currently being um, made available. Of the federal, federal solution. Every federally recognized tribe in the US had to prove that they have an unbroken chain of governance since the settlement of their territories. We talked about this in the last hour. Some tribes, it takes 60 years to go through the federal recognition process. That's because they have to gather all the documents, all of the history, all of the anything that proves that they have a government that's intact, even while colonial settlement, even while removal, all of those things that whatever happened in their area of the nation, they have to prove that. Hawaiian standard is we got 150 budgetary sort of uh, uh, things approved, and that makes us a, a nation. Every tribe has to do historical language and cultural work to make land claims to illustrate the extent of their tribal territory. A Native Hawaiian government granted federal recognition under the terms laid out is made real because of the budget, budget appropriations listed in that DOI um, thing that have included Hawaiians and through the Hawaiian Homestead Act. This is the version of history that the federal government wants to acknowledge. A strong faction of the people who are engineering this process aims to persuade the elite trust to dissolve their holdings and turn them over to the Native Hawaiian government. Thank you. 